What up, y'all? Got a good push exercise for you. So I want to tie in as many things as I can with the exercise to mimic real life, right? Pull, push. So I break my workouts into kind of that so I have a focus, but every time I'm doing legs, every time I'm doing a pull or a push. In fact, one of the best ways you can recover your muscles is if, if you've done your research, is not passive, but active recovery, meaning that you still move them, okay? So let's say I did a, uh, a pull exercise yesterday. I'm on my push today, and I wanna get the angulations of the body, crossing patterns, and then, so you're gonna see what I'm doing here. Especially if I wanna hit, hit the bottom part of my chest, if you know decline would mostly do that but if i got a cable and i'm coming across i'm going to hit it so much better so we're going to use that crossing pattern on the on this push but i'm going to do a pull so when i first start and i'm going light i'm going to pull first and then push and it's that transformation right between from the pull where it carries over into a push that are so important and that are often neglected in most workouts today so let me show you what i'm talking about So there we're taking it away from our body. Now I'll talk, now let's do the, the crossover one that I was talking to you about. And if you notice, that gives me a nice good stretch on that shoulder, right? So it's almost like I'm getting flexibility and all that all in one shot. When you're doing movements and you're not neglecting the movements, you shouldn't be tight. Most of the time you're tight is because you're, you're, you're lacking movement in that area. All right, so let's take um, that crossing pattern that I was talking about coming down, so here. So one way to hit these muscles too and not just destroy it, so kind of hit it in different um, variations or angulations is I move with the cable and hit it. So watch. So I'm switching it and I'm, I'm gonna drop it, lower it, higher it, palms down. That's what I was pointing to, palms up. Every time I change that movement, I hit it a little differently. And like the Gray Institute likes to talk about, if I keep hitting myself in the head right here, that spot's gonna hurt. But if I'm, right, I'm not gonna get take that beating. So most of the time, muscle building stuff, you're just destroying that tissue instead of stimulating, right? So stimulate, not obliterate. And you're gonna to notice too, I'm gonna to get active recovery in that, right? As I get heavier and heavier, then I don't do a pull. When I notice that I can't, that it, you know, you're gonna feel that weight get heavy enough where you're like, all right, let's not play with that. Then I'll go right into a push, all right? But before that, as I'm warming myself up, and now I got active recovery in there, and I got flexibility in there, as you can see that, you know, one of the guys with big massive arms should be able to get there hand back behind here, right? Actually, they call that Apley's scratch test in physical therapists. So if they wanna test range of motion in the shoulder, can you touch the opposite scapula? And you should be able to, with that being said.